guys. I just wanted to go over uh, my camera that I'm using um, so that you can have kind of your own little cinema camera that kind of does all the tricks that you'll need it to do. Um, I put this together. It was all pretty cheap. I don't want to say cheap, but um, affordable. Um, this is, most of the parts are the, that brand, what do they call it? Newer. Yeah. N E E W E R newer. I think that's how they pronounce it. So the map box, the eyebrow, the, the flags, front flags, um, the rails, um, follow focus. However, this microphone, which is awesome, great quality, um, is one second there we go ceremonic um great microphone good quality um i love how you can set your own levels and um yeah look it up if you're interested in this one great microphone um so so yeah here's the camera and believe it or not this is just a t6i a canon t6i camera um no major features on that camera. It's just a good quality camera. And it, it's, I think you can get one for like 500 bucks, right? Maybe even cheaper now. But, um, this thing is, is legit. It, it really, and it's not that heavy. Um, so, so let's break it apart. All right. So, um, I believe, so I worked in the film industry for a while and I think they called these what French flags. I don't know why. Um, but let's see. I get this off yep. and they call the top one an eyebrow at least that's what we called it we were using the Panavision cameras and stuff so so that's a little bit excessive for you know mostly what I would be doing I would probably just be using it like this most of the time and it's you know it's small and compact and I'm also using a Sigma 30 millimeter lens so you can change it. And I also have, the reason I have the orange tape here is because I have one of those um, ND filters, those variable ND filters. So it just reminds me, oh, and also the ND. I just picked that up from the film industry. I used to be a second AC um, or first AC pull and focus and stuff. So, so yeah, here it is. So here's what's kind of cool. So let's take this off. Um, so simple that it comes off. And here's kind of one of the coolest features. You just want to turn this into, just go point and shoot, just pulls right off like that. And so the reason I got this, I use this actually for photography a lot, actually. Um, because I'm, I'm out in the desert or something, and this is just so good. Oh man, it has helped so much. So I'm actually usually shooting like this when I'm doing photography. This is my setup for photography most of the time, like this. Usually I have the camera maybe on the ground or a low angle and I can use this. Um, this thing is just brilliant. And I made my own little contraption. I had to try to figure out how to get it to stick on there without. So, um, so it's simple. It's just, I just got a little stretchy. Um, let's see. Just stretchy elastic like that and put a little sticky Velcro on the top. And the brand of this one is also newer. Uh, maybe I'm not saying that right. I don't know. Uh, so it's just, it's cool. You can um, pull it up like that. So if, you know, if you're like that, so you can just see where you don't need the magnification and you just need kind of a hood for it, you know, like that, or you pop it back down. And it's also interchangeable. You can switch it around, do it however you want. So this can go this way when you're filming or kind of how like the film cameras have it and they're over on the side like that so that's kind of my setup most of the time so let's get back to the basics here so this whole setup right here is um i mean i can't remember the price but it wasn't that expensive it, I just got Amazon, looked for deals. I don't even know how much I spent. It was maybe, I don't know. But just look up the newer, it's this style. Pretty cool. Uh, that's a really good matte box. I'm really happy with it. The follow focus is a little bit 
eh, whatever. It's a little bit stiff. It does the job. And the rails are perfect. The rails do the trick. They're great. And the little rail holder plate is great too. Uh, this bottom piece is just the, the foot for my um, tripod. So back over here, I just take off the variable ND and one of those, I have one of those collapsible, so it's the three collapsible hoods. I love those. They don't last very long though. They, they crack right here in the creases. So you're gonna be buying a lot of those. They're pretty cheap. I think they're probably 10 bucks maybe. Um, but yeah, you're gonna be buying a lot. Um, and then the top rail, I love it. I either put a monitor up here or the microphone here or microphone here, depending on whatever my setup is. I love this. Um, I can't remember the brand exactly, but it's this one right here. And Sigma 30 millimeter lens and the battery attachment to give me longer. This will last all day, easy. This is the newer um, extended battery pack, two batteries. And there's your basic T6i. So, so yeah. So it's kind of it's it's fun and it's a good it's a good workhorse and super reliable. I'm spinning the knob here to get that connected. All right, so let's build it real fast. Put the handle on top. Screw that down. Let's put the hood back on. It's a little tricky getting those threads just right. Yeah, this variable ND from Zoomy is amazing i mean these are expensive and you you get what you pay for and i got some cheap ones and they sucked they were so bad they do the cross in the middle or they're dark here on the on the edges it, they're really bad but this zoomy i just kind of took a risk and it was on the cheaper side and it is amazing. I would recommend it. My friend has a really expensive, probably like a $200 one, and you can't tell the difference. Um, so, but it's, it's subjective and, you know, people may like it, may not. So, but all right, here we go. And I line up the follow focus with the ring that works actually really well and screw it into the base and put the back on. It's going to be this way. Just simple Velcro. Like that. And that box. Like that. Screw those on. Microphone. the side and there you have it let's go shoot a movie this will do it or a documentary beautiful quality and i have the there's a there's a feature there's a little plug-in um patch crack type of thing for uh the t6 the canon series where it's, it's like what is it called cine style or something like that so it, it gives it just a flat image so i have that going with this lens it's a one four so i keep the one four on all the time depending on what you're looking for um i really love that shallow depth of field look uh, as a cinematographer that would be more my style so i'm using the um, variable nd a lot so I'm outside in bright sunlight shooting at a 1.4 and I'll just move this down um, so that I can still shoot at a 1.4 and have good levels and still get all the details and everything. So, so there it is. You guys can do this for pretty cheap and have yourself a really nice kind of cinematic camera. Um, but you know, and also feel free to put your other body on here. Um, a lot of these things are very versatile and can, can work together. So. There you go. That's how you do it, guys. This is a good one. And if you're, you know, you're sitting on the tripod, um, I'll be looking through here and I have my AC and he's doing his follow focus thing. He doesn't have to bother me. He's just doing his own thing. We got the audio levels up here or you have a guy doing the boom, you know, so 
uh, either way. So I've used this for my documentaries and stuff. Um, there'll also be some footage. I'll, I'll send a link of some other footage of how this camera looks. Of course, I've you know, made it look a little more like film and edited it a little bit, but there you go guys, T6i, and you got yourself a cool cinematic camera with um, newer, the company, the brand, newer, their products. Uh, I recommend them, they're really good. This eyebrow is really good. Um, and the side flags, I have no complaints with those things. Like I said, just the follow focus is a little bit stiff. It works for what you're doing, it also came with a ring. I, it just felt the same. Like it didn't seem like that fixed it all that much. Um, these lenses aren't really made for follow focuses. It's it's not what they intended. Um, so they're kind of just making it work, making do. You know, um, they don't have a ring that you can just spin and it's just like oh, like a bearing. You know, this is kind of stiff. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Is I love this camera. This is so fun. It's great quality. Um, does the job. You can shoot this out in the desert, not a problem. Um, sunny days, bright sunny days. This is the setup right here. Um, however, I know it's old technology where we're at today, so put your new body on there, whatever's new when you see this video, <laughs> but it's pretty interchangeable. So, all right, thanks for watching.